Hello animators and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful My Mirror tips within 5 minutes. Today we're doing one of my favorite topics, bendable extrusions. Let's begin. Now for this tutorial we're using Model Bench. It's a very powerful tool made by Nini, the creator of Minimator himself, and it's very versatile and useful. We're gonna start by loading a template, template Steve, and I just wanna quickly swap out the skin here. We're gonna use a wise old man, oh no. One sec, it's an old texture. There we go. Now I wanna give this wise man a jacket. He looks kinda cold. So I'll add a texture of the jacket that I want to use. It looks like this. Those are random textures I took online, just so you know. The way I'm gonna do this is by selecting the body and giving it a 3D plane. Call it front, open up UV editor. Oh yeah, also material, jacket, there we go. Now I want to select the front face of the jacket, like so. And what's important now is not to move the position at all. Instead, move the pivot offset. Zero and to extrude it 1.5. The reason I'm not touching the position is because the jacket is the part of the body and if I move it away the pivot is now also moving. However if the pivot is in the same place it's going to bend with the body and the extrusion is not going to break. Simple as that. So make the arms invisible, copy the front, call it right, select this, twist it around, adjust the Z, copy it again, call it left, twist it around, select the left, copy the front, call it back, select the back, minus 2.5, and that's it. We have an extruded jacket on our wise man. Let's just add the top. If I bend the body, it breaks, because the top was rotated on the X axis. So what you need to do is add a new body part, lock it on the body, call it top, I'm just gonna add ignore, lock the bent half of the parent, and put the top into this top. So now the top shape is in the top body part, which is bending with the top of the body. That's how we fix it. And the wise man is no longer cold. That's all for me, hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you got your questions, drop them down below. I am making videos about your questions. And show me some love on YouTube so other people can find my videos. I thank you for watching, good luck animating, and stay sharp.